If you want to check out my Twitch channel, it'll be in the description down below. Thank you. Hey, what's going on guys? Walla here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what the best shotgun barrels in the game are. And obviously I'm going to show you guys some shotgun gameplay as well, but not with every single barrel. And I'll explain that here in a second. I just want to get this out of the way right now for a perfect God roll shotgun. Full choke will always be your best option every single time, no matter what. If you have an absolute five out of five God roll, full choke will always be the best option. But with that being said, there is another barrel that I do suggest using sometimes if needed, because full choke, even though it is the best barrel in the game, it's only the best for certain shotguns. The barrel I'm talking about is actually barrel shroud. The reason I say barrel shroud and not something like rifled barrel, and for those who are still using rifled barrel, please stop it. Barrel Shroud gives you a lot of handling and stability, even though you don't need the stability, the handling part is what matters the most. The reason I say this is because not every shotgun in the game gives you something like Elemental Capacitor, where you don't need Barrel Shroud because you just don't need the handling. But let's say you're not using a shotgun that has Elemental Capacitor. Let's say you have something like Found Verdict, where I do have Full Choke on it, but as you can see, the handling is actually really low. If I had Barrel Shroud to increase it by 10, and then a Handling Masterwork to increase it by another 9, Nine, that's 19 handling I'm missing out on as opposed to what I have right now. So you get in these situations where you don't really need to use full choke if you could have something like opening shot instead because as you can see this sudden death doesn't have opening shot so not having full choke would make it even worse. Now Walla what other options are there besides barrel shroud? Why do you think barrel shroud is so damn good? All right so I'm here on the sudden death page and it shows you every single barrel you can get and the reason why I said not to use rifled barrel is because it actually removes 15 handling. Imagine you were using rifled barrel on the found verdict and I just showed you guys it doesn't really have much handling to work with from the start. So if you minus 15 from the original handling stat, this thing's going to be really, really slow. It's going to feel super heavy and just not fun to use whatsoever. The reason why I said full choke is the best on a god roll, especially if you have elemental capacitor, is because it doesn't change your stats whatsoever. If you already have super high handling, all you need to do is tighten the barrel spread and you're really good to go. I mean, there's nothing you want to change. That's why full choke is the best. Next, we have smooth bore, but I'm not going to talk about that. You guys already know it sucks really bad because it increases your projectile spread. And then we're left with the three barrels that no one really used back in the day because there was just no reason to use it. If you had rifled or full choke, that was good enough for you. But since handling matters so much now, these three are actually not too bad anymore. You have small bore, which increases your range by seven and also your stability by seven. You have barrel shroud that I just talked about, which increases your stability by 10 and handling by 10. And then you have corkscrew rifling, which increases all three range, stability and handling by five. So we all know stability doesn't matter on a shotgun at all. I'm not going to talk about that too much, but for those wondering why you wouldn't pick small bore here because it gives you the most range, right? It seems like the obvious choice. At a certain point on a shotgun, range actually doesn't matter too much. It eventually caps out and actually doesn't do all that much. But I'm not saying that you should have negative range on your shotgun because at some point it actually does matter as well. I think it's still pretty important to use. But nothing comes close to as important as handling, and that's why I was saying Barrel Shroud is 100% the second best barrel, If you, especially if you don't have a God Roll. If you don't have a God Roll shotgun, I would actually prefer to use Barrel Shroud over Full Choke. And for those who are worried about the range, you could just get Accurized Rounds instead of Assault Mag to just to get that 10 plus increase on it as well, to make yourself just feel a little bit more comfortable about it. And for those who are still not convinced, why not just get Opening Shot on your shotgun as well? Maybe not something like the Sudden Death, because obviously it doesn't have it, but if you're using the found verdict opening shot increases your range on top of the fact that you're more accurate all right that was a lot of talking i do apologize about that but a lot of people still use rifled barrel because they have quick draw on their shotguns and they think it's still fine because as long as you have quick draw you won't really notice it which is complete bs by the way because after quick draw goes away you lose the 100 handling benefit and it starts to feel really sluggish and very slow you ads a lot slower and it's just not a good barrel whatsoever for the shotgun gameplay i'm going to show you some gameplay play with barrel shroud and opening shot like i said before i wouldn't use barrel shroud if you didn't have opening shot i was always using full chokes on the uh, on the sudden death because it doesn't roll with opening shot i personally think they're interchangeable so if you have full choke but not opening shot it's not the end of the world and if you have opening shot but not full choke it's not the end of the world but if you don't have both of them the shotgun's going to be a lot more mediocre so i would suggest at least getting one or the other also, keep in mind how high my damn handling is now. This is without Elemental Capacitor, keep in mind. It's 63 at the moment out of 100. That's pretty wild. 
without further ado, let's get into the gameplay and I hope you guys enjoy. Don't you love playing a game and talking to yourself, realizing you haven't been recording the entire time? God damn it. All right. Nonetheless, though, we had a really good game just uh, last game and it sucks you guys couldn't witness the uh, slaying, but nonetheless, I think this game should go good too. This guy has a damn sidearm. We're going to nade him. He'll be weak to it. No, he won't. Someone's behind him though. And I can take both kills now. Thank you guys so much. It feels so quick. Surplus is such a good perk. And then as soon as you use all your abilities, you wish you never had it on your gun the whole entire time. Someone's on my right. We're going to jump up. Body you. I got to start actually hitting my shots, man. My aim hasn't been too, too great. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But that's not the shotgun's fault. That's my fault. He's dead. And this guy will die too. Bye. And then someone spawned back here as well. I'm going to shield this. Oh, he actually hit us. Someone's on our right side too. We're going we're gonna to sh uh, run straight at this guy. Get our health back from knockout. And then re-challenge this guy on the right side. Or I guess not, not re-challenge, but just challenge him. I get kill clip. And then challenge this guy. He's already... He's using an ace of spades. I got him weak, but um, he was already aiming at us. So that was pretty bad. I'm not going to head towards this direction. Instead, I'm just going to Titan skate behind them again. Some guys should be weak after that gunfight. Bye. Nice. Not too bad so far. I'm going to get out of here. I'm not really having fun sitting back here. It's just a really big lane and I can't too, I can't shotgun everyone. Maybe this guy can shotgun. Bye. I wonder if he ended up getting the kill or not. I didn't really see on the kill feed. Yeah, he did. Okay. All Might is in front of us. I'm the new All Might. Goodbye. Someone's in front of us again. I'm going to nade? Nope. Having a gunfight. Dead. Slide this. Dead. Perfect. You know, I'm just putting this out there. You know, I wouldn't be able to do all these uh, sick and insane quick moves without a barrel shroud, you know? So. Oh, you're dead. Someone's behind again. We're going to slam. <laughs> Dude, this is so good. This is going better than last game. I'm going after your ass. Don't worry. You're dead. This guy's going to die too. Everyone gets to die. You get to die. Come here. Where are you going, man? The body you. One more. Is he going to come right at us? Three, two, one. Yes, sir. And time. That was below three minutes. <laughs> GG. Holy shit. And I actually was recording this time. Thank God. Yeah, that was better than last game. I was going to show gameplay with the sudden death but I quickly realized I can't use Barrel Shroud and not have opening shot because the shotgun is just not going to hit the same. Uh, so I ended up using the Found Verdict instead. I do have gameplay with the Barrel Shroud on this specific role, but you would just see me meleeing a lot of people. It wasn't really one-shotting them. Regardless of that, I hope this video kind of opened your mind to what types of barrels you should be using and what you can use. You don't always have to be locked down to full choke, but remember, if you have super high handling already, full choke will always be your best bet. Always. Never use rifled barrel. I would rather use smooth bore over rifled barrel. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. For those who want to support me and go the extra mile, I have my own advanced GG code, code Walla. You get 10% off at checkout. And if you're interested, there's a link in the description down below. Thank you. For those who want to join my Discord server, we're at around 5,500 members right now. Would be really great if you guys could join. We're trying to get all the way up to 10,000 if possible. And I always let people know whenever I post a video. Link is also in the description down below. Thank you.